Hello everyone, the Victoria is here and welcome back to another Unity Tip video. In this video we are going to examine physics world's calculate distance methods and we are going to examine three of them. One has just one distance hit parameter and gives back the closest hit. One has a native least distance hit parameter and it gives back all the hits. And one has this type, well it isn't a parameter, so one method is typed where the T is a struct which uh, implements this I collector distance hit uh, interface. This can be used for calculating this other all hits and by this we are going to ignore the triggers as well. And this other closest hit, which is just going to be the other non-trigger closest hit. So, uh, now that we are in the editor, let's see the uh, setup in the editor. So we've got this main camera, it doesn't really matter what it displays because the editor window will be the interesting part. We've got one light, physics settings, the usual, it has a physics step, Unity Physics, and I haven't checked anything in the draw collider area. We've got a dots uh, setup. One is this environment, which is just contains this cube, which serves as a floor but this floor doesn't have any colliders on it. We are going to have several targets, these grey uh, objects here. These all have a physics shape attached to them, and since they are... I want them to be static, and in this way they are going to be considered static, so I haven't added any physics body to them. So these are all looking like this, and now we got this closest hit. This all has a physics body which set to be kinematic, and a physics shape which has to be a capsule. And we've got this dos query displayer ordering uh, script, which specify the distance how far one we want to look for a closest hit. And uh, we've got this for uh, query mode that I described before. And I check this draw surface normal checkbox. This is for the displaying. And the dot query displayer each has a dot query displayer mono behavior attached to it. So I could use this do on draw gizmos method to display the hits, information about the hits. It, uh, these hits contains one capsule, which is um, just a capsule, nothing else, and it has a transparent material. Uh, transparent is just a transparent mater material which has a color that has some alpha values, so nothing special there. And similar for the all distance hit is just the query mode is all distance, all distance hit, the other all hits, the query mode is other all hits, other closest hit, the query mode is other closest hit. And in the non dots part we've got this query displayer. So you know what, let's see what this uh, gives us. So the closest hit is just gives us this minus one, which is kind of like the self hit, basically. The all hits collects the self hit and the, the hits pretty much with everything else. So this black part shows us the origin of the hits. I guess in this way it might be easier to see. 
So hit to this, hit to there, 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 and for the self. So this one is all non-self hit. So as you can see, you don't see this red line here. So it just considers all the other hits. And the closest hit has only one hit which is this cube, which is, this is the closest objects, object to it. Uh, the black part is the start of the hit, and the blue part is the end of the hit. Perhaps in this way it's kind of easier to see. Um, so I don't know if the top view might be better. Okay, so this will be the result. Let's see the code behind and then we can identify what's happening here. So, let's take a look at Nadi's Calculate Distant Query Tester system. So in this system we've got four uh, public fields, one for each type of the hit we are going to calculate. And we've got this build physics world system because we need for our calculation. And the on create method we are going to initialize these all four fields. And now on the on update we are calculating the physics world. This entities for each is going to calculate the distance queries. So we need a collider distance in input and we need this colliders collider pointer and now we need this rigid transform for the rotation value and the origin which is the translation value and the max distance we are going to get this from the dot square displayer data so the dot query displayer data, if the query mode is all distance hit, we are going to call this physics world all hits version of this calculate distance. If the query mode is the closest hit, then we are going to call this uh, closest hit version of the calculate distance. But now, if the query mode is other closest hit or else, meaning the other all hits, we are going to use a custom collector for collecting the results. And for that, we need the rigid body index, and the world get rigid body index entity is going to provide that for us. So we are going to create an other non-trigger hits collector with this rigid body index and with the distance we have specified in the dot query displayer data and we are going to call this calculate distance and this will be the third version we are going to examine. And if we've got at least one hit, then we are going to add this one hit to the collection so that we can handle all of these in the same way. And if basically we have to calculate all other hits, then we just uh, create an other non-trigger hits collector. We are going to add this as a distance custom hit reference to this uh, other non-trigger hits collector and we just call the calculate distance with uh, this uh, setup. So let's see what are these custom collectors are at all. So I defined them at the top of this uh, file. So the other non-trigger hits collector is used for creating all hits that are other than self. And that is the reason why we require the rigid body index as a parameter because this is the parameter that 
can help us to ignore ourselves when we are uh, doing the query. So let's take a look at this iCollector interface. So this is, should be a struct, the T should be a struct and an iQuery results. And it has to implement four things, early out on first hit, mask, max fraction, a number of hits, and the add hit method, which requires a type T. And uh, I would like to point out something that this collector's CS file is containing some exactly three already implemented uh, collectors, which is the any hit collector, checking if there is any hit at all. There is one which for the closest hit, but please note that in this way, the rigid body index is not specified, so practically it might collect the self hit as well. And also, we've got this all hits collector, which is properly collect, collects all hits, and the entities uh, 0.50 version, the T instead of being struct it has to be unmanaged. And uh, in the 0 0.17 version, it was struck, but now it should be changed. And actually, there is a thread about it, which I had created because I was confused why the struct didn't work, and uh, Popopov kindly uh, pointed out that I should use this unmanaged uh, specification here. I guess uh, as the entity is changing all over the place, then it is worth taking a look at this uh, default implementation just in case there is a problem with your own implementation because it could give you a hint how you're supposed to declare these uh, collectors. So, let's get back to here. So, we've got this unmanaged here, and then we are get the self-rigid body index. We are having this all hits. This early out on first hit is false. The must max fraction, we are going to set it in the constructor, which is, uh, this is going to be the maximum distance what we should consider. And basically, we've got this native list all hits, uh, which is we are going to set up in the constructor for to be the all hits uh, member variable. So, the add hit, first and foremost, we are going to only add the hit if the hit fraction is less than the maximum fraction. and this is where we are going to consider if we should ignore the hit. So if the hit rigid body index is the self rigid body index, we should ignore. And also if the collision response is raised triggering events, because in this collector we are going to ignore the triggers as well. And then in that case, we are going to return false. Otherwise, we are going to add the hit and then we are going to return true. So the other non-hit, non-trigger closest hit collector is got only one closest hit. And the add hit uh, version is pretty much same than it was in the all hits collector, but now we are going to updating the mass, max fraction to be the hit fraction. And since we are going to update this, it's guaranteed that this um, condition guarantees that we are going to end up with the closest hit. And then the closest hit be, 
will be the current hit and the number of hits will be always 1 if we found something and we are going to return true. And by the way, we are going to initialize the number of hits to 0 in the constructor. So this is what we are going to calculate in these other two cases. And now what's left of is the on destroy because it's practical if we are going to dispose all of these native lists on this pose. Okay, now let's check the dots query displayer outdooring. Uh, it's nothing special really. The only specialty that the dots query displayer has a hit data entity. Just as a reminder, the dots query displayer are these objects and we are going to specify them here. And this dots query displayer is a mono behavior and it has a hit data entity uh, public field. And uh, we are going to initialize it to be the entity itself so it can display the uh, hits for this specific entity. And then the rest is just converting one thing to another, that's all. So now let's check the dots query displayer. This is the mono behavior that in fact displays the lines on the object that you can see. We are going to get this get component data hit data entity, this dots query displayer, and we are going to get this uh, query tester. And the query tester is in fact uh, this system. And uh, since this got this uh, four public fields, we can all access to this uh, public fields. We are going to get the distance hit depending on the mode because the query display or query mode specify which mode we are interested in and based upon that we can get the appropriate distance hit to calculate with and if the distance hit is something valid we are going to go through all of this and basically we are going to do, draw a magenta sphere in the hit position, a draw sphere in the query point, and also we are going to draw a line between these two points. We are making a difference if we are going to hit ourselves, because if we are going to hit ourselves, then the color will be led red, otherwise the color will be black. And if we check the draw surface normal, then we are going to uh, draw a blue line for the uh, surface, the hits surface normal. And also we are going to display a label with the hit distance as well. And this is on the ondro gizmos method and that's it pretty much for the dots query displayer. So let's just run one more time this app and as you can see now that I zoomed in, these red spheres where the heat occurred and these uh, magenta spheres for the, um, what was it, this uh, heat position. So where the hit is hitting the other object. And as you can see where the cell query is occurs, we are going to draw the line with a red line. And since these are other uh, dis distance to an other uh, rigid body, then we are draw this with black. So, I think uh, that was it for this uh, video. 
I hope you enjoyed it and perhaps learned a bit more about these uh, distance queries. And uh, see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.